hi guys welcome back to my channel I know it's been a while since I've made a video but I had a procedure done and I ended up having um, bruises all over my hands from them trying to start an IV and it just looked terrible and it took forever to heal up and go away so now that it finally did I'm back with another video so is anyone else as you know confused as I am about what planner they're using right now because I cannot, I just cannot decide. But I think I have it now. Think, think is the keyword there. I am going to use for the month of October um, a B6 Slim Traveler's Notebook and an A5 Ring Planner. Now, I know it's only September and it's the middle of September and it's not October yet, but I, I just can't wait. I love October. I love spooky season. I love Halloween decorating. So I purchased the Coco Daisy Halloween kit, but I just bought it with their leftover um, from the pre-order availability they just had. So I don't have it as of yet. So I will be setting this up with the items from that kit and I will share that um, in a different video as well as using a different booklet insert for this planner as well because Coco Daisy doesn't offer a B6 Slim. In the past I had cut down a standard size because the standard size is the same width. It was just a little longer and I was able to cut it down and put it inside the B6 Slim and it worked fine, but I took away all the cute artwork at the top um, and a little bit of, at the bottom when I did that. Well, with the new Coco Daisy um, changes to the inserts, which I do love, by the way, uh, it I can't cut that off because if I do that on these ones that have, this is my B6 uh, rings that I was using. If I do that, then I don't, I'll cut off these pages here. Like I, I couldn't, like these are B6 slim or B6 size. So I would have to just cut the width of these down. So if I trim this off, then I'm going to do away with all of this on the side, which I do like these pages. I want to use these maybe for meal planning. So as you can see, I just ended up cutting the Dory booklet apart and then I just put it in my ring planner, which I, it was nice because this is the back page and I just put it on the, like as this cute quote on the, you know, front of my section here. So the design was great for giving us options on what we wanted to do with the Dory booklets or the inserts themselves. It still has the beautiful artwork, the cute sayings, um, the, the lines and the grid love it so i did this as like a meal planning area my new october mood tracker this is from digitals by row i stamped all the little leaves um, and then her habit tracker but then i took the other bits and oh here we go probably back here this is the paper from the kit so i just cut that and made it into like a you know a section in the planner and then I just thought oh I could just use these for notes because it's perfect there's no layout that I'm tied to I can do whatever I want I have the freedom to make columns if I want to um, to split them this way I love that we have options with the layout and that it's still Basically, if you just wanted to use this as a daily, you could pop your, you know, day of the week on here, the date, and use it as your daily. You have some decoration. You don't need to really do anything extra. It's still convenient in that it's already decorated and ready to go for you. So, I love the changes. I just did don't have my size. So, what I purchased was a... Um, booklet a monthly booklet from planner perfect and 
I'm going to decorate it with Coco Daisy stuff because she does, um, Planner Perfect does offer a B6 slim size. It's very pricey though, and I don't think I will do it again next month unless there's a sale of some sort because that's it's a little much for just the planner itself, just a booklet. So this month what I did, I was using that B6 rings and I had set up, if you remember in my last video, I had set up um, this B6 story and I was just slipping it in the back of that cover. Um, I'm still using this because it's decorated and I have it all ready to go. So I love how the mood is turning out in this one, all the colors. I, this is the first month I've ever done like a mood tracker. So this is a lot of fun. I just That's why I decided to do it again in October. My lettering practice has not gone very well, as you can see. And then I do uh, habits in the back, which I've been okay with what I do. I just need to figure out what I need to track because not a whole lot of action on those either. Um, and then I still have my pages in the middle. This, I just decided to use these as test pages. These were blank pages I didn't know what to do with. And I bought a couple new stamp sets because I really like this textured look of like watercolor or splotchiness on the, the Dory pages themselves. Like, see how she has, like, these little spots and splotches. And I bought some stamps to kind of mimic that look. And I just tested them on this page. So, all of these are stamps that I tested. This one I really enjoyed. I don't even know that you can see that, if it's kind of washed out or not. Or can you even see any of them? Here we go. So, they're just, like, patterns and then I had more in the back here that I tested on this page, like this, and the little, like, circles. Um, and I think I have one more page. Oh, here, this one. So there's, like, a hash, hash marks, and I really like this one. So, yeah, I just ended up using that to kind of test know what they would look like um so i was using this with um an insert that i just printed in the b6 slim size so in the b6 slim size i just have a notebook that i just scribble whatever i need to it goes with me everywhere then i kind of set up like a daily yes see here i'm i've got fall and halloween <laughs> so and more Halloween. I just cut this cover down. This was a standard size cover to make my craft cover like the Coco Daisy Dories. This was um, a printable by Digitals by Row, and this came from the Coco Daisy kit. And then this was the Coco Daisy paper that I printed on vellum. This was um, a calendar from SM Plans, and she offers like a whole set of the calendars for the year in multiple sizes. So I just did the, what, three by five, maybe three by four. Um, because again, mimicking this calendar at the beginning of the Daisy Dory, I really liked having my paydays marked just at a glance. So I kind of took this and made my own so I would have it. And then the challenges, which I've been terrible at, I don't even think I've done one this month usually pretty good at least doing a couple and then I just kind of set this up like a Hobonichi type of setup because I didn't need a whole lot on the go I just wanted simple stuff dinner and then just notes this is a blank page it looks like this I'm gonna turn this out because I feel like no that's worse so um a blank page and then I just decorate it so here I've used my splotches like my stamps I threw a sticker on there I carried some of that stamping and splotching over here um, the washi tape the next week I decided to use a washi tape down through here and stamp the, the date and then again washi from the Coco Daisy kit sticker more stamping I kind of like just made my own little 
Coco Daisy look. I was testing some other stamps here. Um, this is a stamp and then like some of the Coco Daisy stickers. So I will finish out the month for this. And then I'll put it away with my other Daisy Dory booklet for September. And then for October, then I will use the, once I get it, the insert from Planner Perfect for the B6 Slim size. And then I'll just have my notebooks. I love Nightmare Before Christmas. Huge fan of Nightmare Before Christmas. So... This is, again, is just a notebook. I took the cover off of it and wrapped some of these that I had printed out around the front of it. And I just jot whatever in it. I mean, it's really just random stuff. So, um, and then I can just, once I fill it up, I, I'm done with it. And then I do have a calendar in here as well that I use. And then some stickers and some of the Coco Daisy note pad is in here. So this will end up being um, some different inserts once I get my Coco Daisy kit for October in and that Planner Perfect booklet. I'll get it all set up and share a video for you. This charm is from PlannerShit.com. I will have a link below. I PR for her, so I'll have a code and a link below. This is like a blushy pink with some glitter in it love it and then this notebook is the black beauty um, chic sparrow with the white stitching which is on sale right now um, in the overstock sale and the b6 slim i think this is the called the heritage with this pocket design so love this it smells amazing i liked that it has like i don't know if you can see it but there is some scarring on the back of there which is awesome so I'm using this and then this is a Filofax um, Malden and it's black with again the white stitching. I like that contrast look and I have some charms on this one. This one also is from PlannerShit.com. Here we'll go this way. It's like a cameo with a skull girl. Love her. And then I have this one that's like a star or a moon and um, like a druzy stone. This one's on a binder clip. You'll see that when I open it up. So, this guy will hold, um, yeah, see there's, sorry for the glare there. Um, there's some jack. Uh, this will hold a calendar for the year. And then I have already put in my new calendar for next year. And then I'm going to make some task cards here with some, just some decoration. I'm going to, there, maybe that's better. This was a printable by the Planner Spot. And I have set up for my PR YouTube section. So this I'll list out all my videos. I am, I got like this, which is laminated. I'm going to put, I just put sticky notes on it. I'm going to track when I post to both my Facebook group, because I do a direct sales company, um, Chalk Couture. So if you like crafty stuff and DIY um, decor, check out the link below. Um, but this is where I will track all of that. I'm tracking my growth on my channel and my Instagram in those. That's my codes for my PR. But this I'm setting up as kind of my PR. My, I got my home stuff in here. Like the last time I cleaned the dishwasher or ran the self-clean cycle on the oven and a book reading log and book list and things I don't need necessarily every day is in the back, but I really wanted to focus on this um, stuff up front so I put it up towards the front and this is what I'm going to use every day because I like the space I like the inserts are available for it and I um, really love rings to be able to switch things in and out and rearrange easily and I don't want to carry this everywhere so it's okay to stay on my desk and just update as I need this goes with me 
everywhere, over, you know, by the bed at night, over um, at my desk, upstairs, to work. It's It goes with me everywhere. It's very travel-friendly size, so that's why I'm going to use this. So that is kind of what I have going on right now, planner-wise. I, I couldn't decide if I, I really struggle because I like this booklet all set up, decorated cutely, and being able to go back and flip through it and keeping it as like a keepsake of what was happening. And it, I just can't because it's, if I trim it down, it's just going to ruin the artwork and it's kind of going to lose that, you know, the things I love about it. So I'm just going to use the papers and items from the kit and add it to inserts that um, I print myself or I may try to purchase a couple on Etsy for um, the B6 slim size. So let me know what kind of planner you're using at the moment. Let me know what planner you plan on using for 2023. I think this is what I'm going to try to carry over for 2023. We'll see because I've been all over the place. Um, I may just change out the covers like I do. I do that a lot for the seasons or whatever, but I'm going to try to stick to these two sizes because basically I'm tired of setting up planners over and over again. I'm afraid I'm losing information when I do that. So I'm going to try to stick into these two sizes for the rest of the year at least. Um, I do have a, a bonus. I have a um, haul, a little haul for you. I did get that planner, that traveler's notebook, that Black Beauty um, from Chic Sparrow. And then I got some stickers and some vinyls from uh, Mad Hatter Sticker Co. These have my channel name on it and my Instagram name, and so it's in white, um, so you can't really see it. But I got a couple of those. It just says um, at Come to the Crafty Side. And then I got some. I think both of the, yeah, these are both freebies. Yeah, they're the same color way. I love these little decorative um, stickers for like bullet journal type planning and I love the color palette um, I plan on doing like a dark Alice theme so that blue and the black and the purple like this would be kind of nice to throw in with that and then this is my PR freebie so if you put um, my name in the comments and use my code Stephanie 15 you'll get 15% off and my PR freebie this is super cute. This is the Halloween freebie. Definitely will be putting that in my planner. And then this was a swap freebie. The artwork is really cute on this one. And then because I like my currently pages, which I really enjoy doing in this, I'm going to still try to do that in my October setup in the B6 Slim. So, I have a currently title. She did a custom for me for this. And I like to do the categories of watching, creating, and reading. And you can choose your font choice on these two. So um, you'll just pick a font and then let her know what word you want. And then these are um, just squares. I like the colors of this one. And then she just came up with... Um, or to start offering brush strokes. So I got a couple sheets of these. These are the Highlands. And this is um, page one. Oop, I think I'm out of order here. There we go. This is page two. And then, of course, I had them backwards. You know how that goes. And then this is page one of the Shades of Nude. And this one you can't even hardly see. It is very light. Um, there, maybe you can kind of see it. This is page two. And I'll have a link to her shop and code down below for your convenience. So yeah, that's what I got from um, Mad Hatter Sticker Co. But I will, like I said, update when I set up uh, my Coco Daisy October for you guys. So maybe you'll get some ideas of how to use those goodies. Um, and let me know, like I said, let me know what you're using at the moment, what's working for you, what you like about it, and what you plan on using for 2023. I appreciate you guys watching. 
um, and sticking around with me in my absence of a few weeks. And please like and subscribe this video. It really helps my channel grow. I appreciate you. Have a good day. Bye.